So I took my Wing Dragon or Horus build with Dragoon to locals today, and I've got 13th place. I misplayed so much. Um, I went X2 um, and realized a bunch of things where I had solutions to the to the two games I lost. And it wasn't in here because this side deck, this extra deck, it's geared differently with this build compared to my Arcana Knight Horus build. So I'm like, I needed exceed monsters from that, that negated stuff versus this is meant to be board breakers. So I love that I did it multiple times where I'll use two of the horrors to go into Cypher, take one of their monsters, and then go into this pop up a uh, face up card. Then I went into this pop any card. And then since I took one of their monsters with Cypher, I'll tribute their monster with this one. Well, link away their monster with this one for SP Little Knight, banishing another card and got rid of four of their cards and just played through that and won. Um, then a situation came up, two different situations. One guy was being so aggressively different. And he was like, why are those fucking cards so fucking broken? Like, he was going off. And then game three, he said, you can go first. And I'm like, in my head, okay, I know exactly what I'm going to do. It was like under 30 seconds left for game three. And if I drew the certain um, cards with the horse, I'm like, I'm going to burn you with coach. And then I did the co the combo, going into coach and then burning for game. And it was only 30 seconds anyways. And then he goes, why the hell did I let you go first? I should have let myself go first. And I was like, I don't know. You done messed up. And he was being so extra. I was trying so hard not to laugh. Like super animated. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I don't know what to do. I'm like, you know, shit happens. And he goes, why the horse cards? And that stupid coach, they should ban all those damn cards. And I'm like, it's not that serious. And... The other situation, if you can help me, if you're a judge or you know this ruling or whatever, there's a bunch of people that half of the people said it does, half of the people say it don't. So the situation was I used um, it was their turn, my opponent's turn. So I had used IP's effect to go into SP Little Knight, banishing one of their cards. And this states, this affects the, the monsters. It doesn't affect the players from what I was told. And it will be the same thing. Like when you do the Raid Raptor combos and you still go into SP Little Knight, the Raid Raptor towers, they can still attack even though this says other monsters can attack. Um, the turn you activate its effects. So the towers are unaffected by card effects. So since this affects the monsters, the towers can still attack. So the situation was I use IP to go into SP on their turn. So then it says on the turn, this card uses this effect to banish. Other monsters can't attack. So then the, the exact situation was going this into this. It says the turn. Then he played um, the spell card to take it. Um, triple tat Tatlins. So since... It doesn't affect the player and it affects the monsters. My situation was I asked because I was generally curious and like I didn't know how it works because since it affects the monsters, he took this and he continued continue to build a board and he was like, all right, this is game. So I was like, out of curiosity, do you know this ruling? And he goes, what ruling? And I was like, since I use this effect and you took it, it's a lingering effect for the rest of the turn. That affects the monsters, not the player. Does he still get to attack directly with all his other monsters? Because he took it the turn I activated his effect due to IP on his turn. And then he took this and proceeded to have a big board to OTK. Since this, uh, this affects the monsters, does his uh, monsters get to attack? 
or or what happened so it's like half the people were saying it affects the monsters so his monsters cannot attack directly only sp and or something like that and some of the people saying no it affects the turn player um whoever activated its effects it doesn't switch over to the new player but again it affects um the monsters not the player so in the situation where you go ip into sp and you banish one of their cards but it's their turn that turn you activate his effect and they change a heart let's say or whatever they take your monster. Do their rest of the monsters get to attack, or it's just how would what would be the solution? Like I, I'm generally curious, and I need to know these things just to know in every situation. And I realized to change out my extra deck to have more negate. So it's like some cards I'm gonna take out. I said, like I said, I went X two. So I'll just open up the packs, I guess. And I was just curious and wanted to show off my. Colored dual disc, I guess. So, Labyrinth and a Raid Raptor. There's a bunch of things like you know, as you win and or lose, or the more scenarios that come up with your deck, the better equipped you are to knowing different situations. So that was the situation, and the two, uh, the other, the other, um, another game I lost. I figured I, I had, I would have won them if, and if I had the XC cards from my other build. But this was the Wing Dragon Aura build with the horror stuff and Dragoon. And everything I did, the combos to go into the Dragoon package, whether it was going Apprentice, searching Dark Magician, and then I would normal summon, uh, where are you? I would normal summon Dragon Keeper Magic, and I'll discard the Dark Magician to search um, the spell card. Magicalized Fusion, and then I will play Magicalized Fusion to go to banish um, the dragon because it's a dragon effect and Dark Magician and Graveyard to special summon Dragoon. When it went off, like they couldn't get, they couldn't out it. And the people I played, because a bunch of people I didn't know that I played, and it's like they negated everything that would go into the Dragoon, so like Dragoon never hit the field at all, and they had all hand traps, and I'm like. Jesus, but the the horror stuff still came through. Um, but I am curious about that. If you could let me know, um, if you go IP into SP on their turn, it says they can the turn it activated its effect. It is a lingering effect that affects the monsters. From what I was told, if they take it with change of heart, do the rest of their monster get to attack, or since you activated it? They can, they're, they're not under restrictions. But again, from what I was told, this affects the monsters, not the player. Um, I'm curious, and I also know I want to I want to take out certain cards to put in XC Negate. Because if I had the two, um, number 90 and the other one I play, and I, I that one game I lost with Flunder Reeves, I knew I could have stopped them. So... This is more engineered to clear with the, the sphere mode and stuff. It's just meant to just clear boards like it's board breakers. Same with the extra deck, like I said. Um, and there's just certain cards I want to I wanna switch it up. But this is the first official tournament I took it to when I got 13th place. So um, I misplayed some. I'm, I forgot to activate some effects. But, you know, I'm, I'm so used to... Being conditioned to play my Arcana Knights with the horror stuff that I have to fully get used to playing this build this way. So it's like, you know, you learn from every duel. So we will play accordingly after this and 
keep becoming a monster.